Hey everyone, Bricknut here. Today we're going to be looking at a LEGO City set and it is set number 60154 and it is called The Bus Station. It retails over here at $39.99 and has 337 pieces. Now I did get this for less than the price on the LEGO website because a store called Argos here in the UK is um, well, currently has a bunch of Lego on sale so I decided to pick this one today so it comes with six minifigures one dog two bicycles a new stand the bus stop and of course the bus quite a lot um, I don't think it's actually bad for the price to be honest considering what's here so we have one blue bike one red bike and we have I'm going to start this end I think here's the cyclist so there he is the only print he's got on the back is his hood and he doesn't have an alternate hairpiece he's only got the um cycle helmet there which is unusual because a lot of the sets I've bought where they have hats Legos included you know a hairpiece for them as well but they didn't in this one Ooh, anyway here's our first lady she's also holding a coin rather than the green money that I've um, I'm used to seeing and I think all of us are used to seeing I've never seen these coins before this is the first time I've seen them. She's also got printing on the back. I do like her um, jacket though. Green and white jacket. <clears throat> and we have this uh, sort of... I don't know what to call him elderly, but I think middle aged might be a better description. He's got like the uh, old man style cardigan on there as well. I do like his moustache as well. There's a word that I want to use to describe him and I can't think of it at the minute. I do apologise, every time I want to get close to the camera I keep knocking a handle which is here for me to move the camera around if you're wondering why it shakes. So I do apologise for that. Anyway, here's the bus driver. He doesn't have no printing on his back either. So, it's quite plain and simple. I'm sure they've used this uniform on him before in another set. Similar set. Um, I had a bus and a pizza place and whatnot in it. Here's another little girl. She's holding a cell phone. This is the only child in the set. But they have equaled out the figures. There's three men. Well, three males and three females. And they've also included a wheelchair. So you get another wheelchair with this set as well. And uh, this is the figure they show in the wheelchair. There is a reason for that wheelchair. We'll get to that when we get to the bus. But here she is. And she has printing on the back, a number eight. I think she's supposed to be wearing something like a baseball jacket or a you know, a sports jersey or something, maybe. So that is it. The dog is just a generic dog that's been around for a long time. See, he's got the little black stripe on his face there. So I'm going to move our figures over. Again, we've seen the bikes before. I've actually got, I think, at least one more of these sort of, uh, I don't know what to call that shade of blue. I was going to call it a turquoise blue, but no, I don't think it is really. All right, let's move our figures out of the way. Whoops. <clears throat> there we go. So, here is the newsstand. And it has, uh, well I suppose behind this window here, they're meant to be like um, 
perhaps drinks, cans. We've got a very wobbly street lamp on this one. I'm not sure what's gone wrong there. Normally, like the top here, it's quite sturdy, but for some reason, it's a bit wobbly on that one. You get three newspapers, as in the printed tiles. There's a a um, yeah, um, a two by two plate underneath the newspaper that's there to make it look like a stack of papers and uh, there is meant to be two apples there's a green one in there the red one's fallen out and is laying on the floor and it's quite simple this I will just say I want to incorporate this into my Lego C <clears throat> I know exactly where I want to put it do want to make a little bit of an adjustment to this I want to make it deeper because it's not very deep I want to make it much deeper maybe another two studs deep but that's it that's um, that's that is the only modification I want to do to this or I might just even make it one stud deep one extra stud deeper but yeah that is definitely going to be incorporated in my Lego City because um, my Lego seat, I've always wanted to sort of incorporate both mocks and at least my favourite sets. So, anyway, I digressed a little bit there. Let's crack on. Here's the bus stop. It's quite a simple little bus stop. You know, it's got a little um, bicycle rack there for you to... Uh, Park your bicycle in when you want to catch the bus. If you've got to ride your bike to the bus stop, that is. That's not going to stand, is it? Stand in there. Here, yeah, there we go. So it's fully functional. There is a number of ways to do bike racks. <coughs> Which actually reminds me, I haven't built one for my turn, not yet. So, uh, yeah, there is a few stickers here as well. Um, by the way, those newspapers are actually printed tiles. Uh, the only sticker on the newsstand is the one that says newsstand. But anyway, we've got a sticker here. I think it's an advert of some sort, isn't it? Yeah. We've got the bus stop there, which is a sticker. And just inside the bus stop there is the timetable, which is also a sticker. Oh, and there's another one on top of this trash can. Um, other than that, the stickers weren't too bad to put on, actually, for a change. I uh, quite enjoyed doing the stickers. I think I got most of them pretty straight. Some of them, especially the long ones like the news, the newsstand sticker, which is on a 1x6 tile. Sometimes I get those, you know, at an angle, same with the number plates and whatnot. But, as they say, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Anyway, I digressed again. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's my bus. It's, um, I enjoyed the build. If you get this set, you'll see what I mean, but that is a very, very strong build. I'm actually convinced that if I drop it on the floor, the bus won't break. Or at least the chassis part won't break. Um, because it's so well built. It really is. I'm impressed with that. But we've got three stickers here. We've got double doors there, and there is a reason for that. And that's where the uh, wheelchair comes in. Because if I just bring this closer so you can see, there's a wheelchair symbol there, as well as a pram symbol, and the main symbol on the front door there. So we've got the main door there for um, <clears throat> the main passengers to get in and and, uh, out and j I don't know if we can see it, but just in there is a little one by one tile which is being used as the uh, ticket machine. In fact, if I just put that down there for a minute, they include a spare one so I can show you. There it is, a little printed tile right there. Reminds me of a calculator actually. But that's what they're using in the cab there of the bus for um, a ticket machine. So there we go, it's got twin axles at the back there. Now I'm going to open this door here. There's the middle bit. And as you can see, there's quite a large space in there. That would be for your push chairs, your prams, strollers. Um, 
wheelchairs as well. That's what that's for, that's why it's got the double doors on it. And uh, there, there's a few seats at the back there, I'm not sure how well you can see that. I would take the roof off, but you can't really see a great deal through that. Because uh, of what they've used. But I do want to get one of the roof sections off just to show you because... Ow! That hurt. <laughs> can I get one off? The front and rear part of the roof is just one of these bits which has been around for quite some time. But the rest of it, which I actually think is quite a nice idea, it's these parts. I believe this is the first time I've come across these. Um, I don't think any of the other more recent sets I've bought have these. I could be wrong. But yeah, I do like these pieces. And... Uh, can I get another one off? Yeah, can I get another one off? I'll take a few off. There we go. So that's inside the bus. You can see the rear seat layout now. As you can see, it's got one or two of these on here with the little hinge bits in there to put the trap door in. There's two of those because that's what's under here. So the top is quite sturdy as well. It's um, a pretty well built bus, to be honest. I'm I was very impressed with the build anyway. <clears throat> Alright. There we go. Now, there is features on the back. There's two stickers there as well. A number plate and another sign there for bicycles and prams. Because what you can do... Is put the bikes on the back there. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Now, can I get this bike off here this time without... Yeah, I did that earlier and popped the actual panel off. <clears throat> so, it's a nice bus. We've got three stickers on the front here. That one says electric hybrid. And of course, we've got the destination sign at the top there and the number plate. We've already shown you those ones and those ones. Yeah, I think that's a great looking bus, to be honest. Now, I don't know if LEGO did this intentionally or not. Probably not. I think it's just a coincidence, but... <clears throat> there is a soccer team, local to me, in Norwich Sea, whose colours are green and yellow. <laughs> um, so it would be quite a nice set to buy for them. Because <laughs> the colours match their football kit. Um, yeah, I think that's just a coincidence. <clears throat> I do want to put this in my city as well, so I have two buses. I've got my mock bus on there at the minute. But I would have to modify this, because, uh, you know, it's designed for countries that drive on the right, like this, like Germany and France and America and whatnot. So you've got your doors and you've got your footpath. Whereas in Britain... We drive on that side of the road, which is no good, because all the passengers and whatnot have got to get on via the road. So I'm going to have to modify this and put these doors that side. But the way this is built, that should be an easy task to do. So it will be in my city with that modification, but that's the only modification I've got to make. Uh, well, aside to that slight mod to the new stand as well, just to suit my needs in the city. Uh, all in all, I actually think that's a good set. I would uh, <clears throat> recommend it. Um, if you're one of the people that like to use sets in your LEGO city, we have a random cat joining us. <laughs> Um, yeah, this would be a great addition to it, because <clears throat> you've got the bus, you've got the new stand that you can put on the side of your street somewhere. We've got a Catzilla on this one. You've got to do it every time, haven't you? you just got to get in on the camera. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot else I want to say about it, really. Besides, 
Nemo here is distracting me now. <laughs> so, um, as always, if you have any comments on this, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.